Wow. Uh, I'm filming. I'm filming. I'm actually kind of nervous. To be honest, I'm very nervous. This is like, uh, you could say, a sentil, sentimental video. It's about to become a sentimental video. Um, as you can, bleh. as you can tell from the from the title above, it's called or it's titled "Confession." This is why I haven't filmed, why I can't film lately. Uh, obviously, if you've seen this video, I I did film, unless I delete. No, yeah, obviously you're seeing it, I did film. But here's some videos of me trying. I'm very nervous of me trying to film. Okay, um, today's date is 24 January, um, 2019. For, let's get this off. For quite some time I've been trying to film, like, I've been trying to pretend like I'm okay, but I just recorded, deleted, recorded, deleted. Today's date, 24 January, 2019. Still can't film, still can't film, still not really, like, entirely okay to film. So, yeah. What's up? Don't, don't, don't run. <laughs> to, to tell you the honest truth, I feel as if YouTube has become this family, so to speak. Um, I know my YouTube channel isn't that big, but I feel the need of informing um, what's going on in my life. That is why I'm. <laughs> this is gonna be a hard video. Like this is gonna be a hard video. Like, like emotions are running already. Um, because yeah, yeah. So bear in mind, I probably will be changing my clothes throughout the video. So that just means it's gonna be a lot of days. Um, I think approximately I'll take about two weeks to, to to do this video. So if I do happen to be changing my clothes, my hairstyle, just know that, understand that it is not a day's video. I don't want it to be a day's video. Uh, I don't want to rush it, you know, because if I rush it, I'll leave some some things out, and I'll most probably, yeah, I'll leave some things out. Reason another reason I want to do this video is because it might just help myself and other people out there. So, low key trying to help myself is trying to help someone else because someone else might be going through what I'm going through. So, I hope you like this video. It's different. It's not me holding my camera vlogging. Yeah. Um, as you can tell from the uh, videos that I just that are earlier on this video, um, I did film, like I did try to film, but it was like 10 seconds. Then I'd save it somewhere else in my archives. My archives. Archives. Yeah, archives. But I'd never actually posted it. So, to be honest, I've been faking being okay. So, I'd be like, Yo, what's up? Blah blah blah. But I wouldn't post that, you know, because I just save it elsewhere and never use it, you know, until this moment. So this right now is the moment of truth. This might storm, or it might. Let me just say, like, focus on the storming part. It might relieve myself just to focus on that. Whoever's hurt during the process of making this video or watching this video, not that I don't care, but yeah, you know, just this is me letting out, you know, me letting go, me trying to step on the next stepping stone, you know, moving forward, so to speak. Well, this is the moment where I do this. The rest of you, <laughs> yeah, you know, when I mumble, when I'm like nervous, I mumble most of the time. I have water. So this is my problem. I have, confessing, I have anxiety. And the majority of times I tell people, like seven, seven or ten times when I tell people I have anxiety, they be like, yo, Sam, and stop being so anxious about things, you know? Like, I haven't tried that. To, to be honest, I have anxiety. And over the weekend, I, I thought about telling everybody, you know, like telling YouTube, the family of YouTube, like, what's actually, I'm nervous, what's actually bothering me what's actually bothering me but I low-key figured out that majority of people don't actually care about your problems unless you're helping them out so I'm gonna like cut down or summarize you know my problems because I don't want to be 
um, putting everything about my life on the on the net or on YouTube. I understand that I say YouTube is a family, but this just has to be that that line that shouldn't be crossed. You know, that line of my personal space and YouTube as a, as a whole. And what causes my anxiety? Um, first and foremost is last year, some year, uh, last year, some year, last year my my parents split up, and that for me caused a lot of anxiety because. Part of my anxiety was blaming me for, for, for their separation because I don't know why I got to the conclusion of myself because what happened is their negativity um, boiled down to, 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 to me at times because it was sometimes this one telling this one through me um, the negative side of the story like you know, my father would come to, to me and say oh your mother did this or my mother would come to me like your father did this and I understand that it should go one ear through the oh, ooh, I'm nervous. I understand that it should go from one ear to the other, but it doesn't always happen like that because when it happens like that it goes from this ear then damages the brain out the other ear. But it leaves the brain damaged. That's what I'm trying to say. It's always that with listening to, to negativity. So yeah, that's out. So that's still bothering me right now because Last year my anxiety was like it's your fault and I don't know why I got to that conclusion but I was actually blaming myself. I don't know how many times I actually cried that December. It was like by far the worst December I've ever had in, in a long time because you know December is like this auspicious time. Everybody's like having fun but for me that December was nice. Um, they're not actually divorced. They just live in separation. What means in separation is they're still married but aren't actually together like Legally they're together, but physically they are not. That's what living in separation means. Then another thing that causes the a lot of anxiety is we have this group. I'm sorry if I'm looking at the monitor. I'm nervous. I'm looking at the monitor. I'm sorry. We have this group. It's called family. You know, we had it. I left it. Then my father has this thing of making things up. So he he made up the story about. Like I beat him up, you know. So this one time, um, this group, you know, it's called family. I, I log into this group. It was the Saturday morning. I'm still asleep. Okay, then I woke up. I check my phone. There's a lot of notifications. Like, okay, cool. What's this? Then she has my other sister. She has this big paragraph of me, how I mistreat my father, of those things, those things, those things, and what frustrated me the most is because none of those things happened you know my father has this thing of making things up like he makes things up like I beat him up or I did this to him just so that he looks good and I'll, I obviously won't say a lot of things because like I mentioned I want to put everything here on YouTube I'm even shaking I won't even put everything here on YouTube I'm only doing this because I think it's going to help me it's going to help me it's going to have my, my mental because I'm, I'm actually picking up, I'm actually picking up, my, my self-confidence is there, my self-esteem is like rising a little bit. Yes, um, that is that. So I've cut, you know, my father's side of family, like I've cut that side out, me for a year, until I recover. Because there's this tweet, I'll just put it somewhere, somewhere here. It's like your feelings and other people's feelings. Then it has this, you know, more kind of thing that shows that you have to take care of your own feelings. Not that I'm saying I hate that side of my family, but I'm actually trying to stay away. I'm trying to be happier because that side of the family has always been, not always, but has shown to be very negative, you know. And I cannot have that in my life. Um, question is, when am gonna, when am I, when am I letting the, them back in my life? I'm not sure. Maybe a year. I'll give it a year. Um, should we get to the year 2020 and I don't feel the need to involve them in my life I'll go for year 2021 2022 and so on until I fully recover because I'm about recovering you know recovering for me my mental is very important your mental is very important uh, whoever's in your life is in your life regardless of it being family or friends if there's they need to be a, a point or a reason of you cutting them off for me that's fine you know, for me, as as long as you're happy, it's fine. Because what what pissed me the most, or what annoyed me the most, is I told my mother about this. I was like, "Yo, mom, this happened in a group chat, and she tried and called 
you know, they, ne they never picked up. You know, so this escalated to, to be something that is, let me say personal, you know, to be something personal. At least that's how I feel. Because they were there shooting, shooting, shooting until I told myself the story and I left the group. But nobody actually came to me and apologized. I remember my cousin came to me like, yo, I said what happened was right, fine. I, I really appreciate that. But nobody went on saying, um, this never happened. Why did you blame or wrongfully blame Samson for doing this? You know, So that annoyed me the most because it, it's like breaking something. It's like if I break this glass right now and I expect somebody to, to fix it. You know, I broke it. Why aren't I fixing the glass that's broken? But I'm not here to, 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 to demolish or to, to, to vandalize any relationship or, or tell you that you should vandalize or burn down bridges. I'm not burning down bridges, I'm just saying I'm putting a yellow line for, for some bridges right now. Like, you know, this bridge isn't to be used until further notice. Should this bridge be used in 2021, 2020? I don't know when this bridge will be used, but it is not now. Far away, just far away, yeah, yeah, just far away. Hey. Now, can you take me far away? Hey. Just far away, just far away, yeah, yeah, just far away. Hey. Now, can you take me far away? Just far away. clip it won't be long um, thank you for watching um generally what i'm saying is i really appreciate the people that are in my life my page is about to die so i might like speed up a little bit um i really appreciate the people that are in my life um what i really appreciate more is my friends um family um they actually don't really know how how, how much it does you know the moment you just play fifa or just go out for an outing i think that you know playing fifa with my friends and family is just one of the moments I just literally don't think about, you know, my problems, my tribulations. But I'm little by little, like, forgetting what's happening. I even bought myself a watch. I bought myself a watch just to spoil myself. I think I deserve it. Got a haircut, yeah, I look good, I feel good. Like, honestly, just moving on is just little by little, little by little. I was talking to my friend yesterday, he's there, he's at Joburg, just for an outing, just to just to grab a breather a little bit because that's actually very important for your mental for your own mental and the hair this is a class barber uh somewhere in our i'll put uh i'll explain where it is in the description below because i don't know how to explain just it's very close to sun park if you know where sun park is you'll understand where uh, i'm leading to where i lead you to so yeah thank you for watching my name is samson gina i feel good for myself watch Far I away, I feel good, I'm happy. Far I think away, that is yeah, yeah. Just far away. Hey. Now, can you take me far away? Hey. Just far away. Just far away. Yeah, yeah. Just far away. Hey. Now, can you take me far away? Just far away.